Welcome to this lecture on high availability in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So here we can see the overall deployments of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure in different regions. Um, there are 14 plus regions that are live with uh, availability domains. There are government regions, there are edge point of presence. Um, pretty much all the major cities in the US either have a region, have a data center or availability domain or will soon have it. There are distinct geosecurity profiles, um, automated global edge protection, 24-7 uh, monitoring, and a lot of other features and functionality. So in the previous slide, uh, we looked at the region's distribution across the globe. Uh, a region is the top level component of the infrastructure. Each region is a separate geographical area with multiple fault isolated locations that are called availability domains or ADs. An availability domain is the subcomponent of a region and it's designed to be independent and highly reliable. Each uh, avail availability domain is built with fully independent infrastructure, buildings, power generation, cooling, and network connectivity. So the ADs or availability domains are physically separated from each other. And that by default then provides protection against any kind of natural or other disasters. So as you can see from region one, region two, and region three uh, diagram here that uh, some regions have multiple ADs and some new regions are coming online with one AD for now, but additional ADs will be added. So in this, in this slide, if you look at region one, which has three ADs, these three ADs within this region one are connected using a secure high speed, low latency network. Now with this low latency network, allow, it allows customers to build and run highly reliable applications and workloads with minimum impact to application latency and performance. And all these links between different ADs, if you look at region one and three ADs in region one are encrypted as well. So in this scenario, we can see that a customer can choose to deploy their application across multiple ADs, for example, in region one, thus getting uh, very highly available applications. Even in uh, regions where there is only one AD, there is a uh, fault tolerance mechanism built in. And regions are interconnected as well. So high availability can be achieved by creating disaster recovery deployment uh, in multiple regions. So if we dig a little bit deeper into each AD, uh, what's going on within each AD, which is actually a physical data center. So we looked at region one that has three ADs, region two has three ADs, and region three has one AD. Uh, within that AD, each AD we have fault domains. And what it means is that when customers are deploying applications, for example, in AD1 in region one, the applications are automatically distributed across multiple physical nodes. And there are two options available um, in terms of deploying these applications. So customers can choose a fault domain when they're deploying, let's say a virtual machine, or if they don't, then Oracle, um, intelligently chooses to distribute uh, workloads across different physical uh, compute nodes. So in this case, if a compute node goes down, not all applications go down with it because they are distributed across multiple physical nodes. So to recap, in terms of high availability, we can see there is a very large footprint in terms of regions across the world that are covered with physical data center that Oracle Cloud Infrastructure has deployed. Um, quite a few regions have multiple ADs, even the regions with one AD um, have fault domains and regions with multiple ADs also have fault domains. So redundancy and high availability is provided not only at the region level, but also at the availability domain or physical data center level. So in the next lecture, we look at verifiably secure infrastructure for Oracle Cloud infrastructure.